Hello guys, today welcome. I'm doing a gross spotters, massive spotters today with the help. Okay, let's start. The first spotter, pick it up like this. Obviously, if you remember my uh, bones on the side determination, this will be the, if you can see the hole backwards, immediately you'll have one minute time. So this will be the um, right humerus. Okay, the first spotter is right humerus. Then the second spotter, this is going to be a vertebra, uh, sorry, the uh, sacrum and coccyx. And as you can see now, this will be a more of, you have to lift it and observe like this. Wait for one, you get, you're going to get one minute time. This will be the left pelvis with sacrum and coccyx attached right relevant points. Next, obviously, this is the sacrum and the coccyx, mainly the sacrum. And they'll ask you a question, write something about lumbosacral joint. Next spotter. This is femur, but obviously this is the left femur, the condyles backwards, the left femur. Right now properly, no spelling mistakes in femur. And this will be the tarsal bones, okay? The question will be, uh, identify the spotter. So you have to identify the spotter, especially the calcaneus, what I'm touching now, the talus here. Then I'll be touching the cuboid here, cuboid. This I will be teaching you later on. This is just, if, I, if you get this spotter, this will be the uh, foot bones, okay? Tarsals, name the seven tarsals. Then you're gonna go to this bone, lift it. This is the tibia. Obviously, this will be the sharp anterior border forwards. So this will be the right tibia, okay? Let's see which pelvis we have got this time now. Okay, yes sir, yes, hold it in your hand properly, the right pelvis. Ah, got a female humerus here, obviously right humerus, just see the hole and the head, it's the right humerus. We got a fibula here, fibula is a typical difficult bone actually, let's keep it, yeah, my video if you have seen, yes, this will be the right fibula. Okay, and then obviously this will be the, again the tibia and this will be the left tibia if you observe, okay, the left tibia. Bell one minute, right properly, don't rush. Okay, the spine backwards, this will be my left scapula. What will be this one? Lumbar vertebrae, okay. Thoracic vertebrae, write two points about it. Again, they'll confuse you by keeping you, see they kept lumbar vertebrae, they kept the thoracic vertebrae, then, then they'll take, keep, you think that you'll, you'll write here cervical vertebrae. No, this is also thoracic vertebrae. This is dentulous mandible, please be careful. Dentulous mandible, edentulous mandible. You can see the alveolar sockets are completely gone here. This will be the edentulous. Make the difference, please. This is dentulous. Edentulous mandible. Edentulous means lack of teeth. What is this? This is freshly dissected. Obviously, this will be the patella. Remember, it's a freshly dissected patella. This will be the patella, right two points. Oops, suddenly from patella, which bone is this? This will be my left temporal bone. You can see the mastoid process towards you. And uh, uh, process, zygomatic process of this temporal bone is towards the forward. So this will be the left temporal. This is cervical vertebrae, obviously, this will be the axis. You can see the dents here. This is the lumbar vertebrae again. And this is again a cervical vertebrae. Cervical vertebrae are C7. So any one of this, it might be it. Because of its two foramens, what you get here, and almost compared to these guys, see the body there. Then the bell will continue ringing on. We have to just travel to the next spotter, which is this, it's a skull bone, ovion. This will be the occipital bone. As you can see the foramen magnum here, this will be the occipital bone. No confusions with parietal or frontal. Okay, one more fibula we have got. Okay, this is going to be, let us see the articular surface. This also is freshly dissected just one week before. And it just will be the, obviously, the right fibula, okay? You can see where I'm holding the hand here, right fibula. You can see the muscular tissue still present there. Thoracic vertebrae, very easy. You can see the spine pointing downwards, thoracic vertebrae. Alna, the most easiest bone perhaps. Yes, this will be the right alna. The lateral border is pointing away, the right alna. Keep it towards your little finger. Oops, this is not occipital or frontal bone. This will be the parietal bone, okay? This will be the parietal bone. And uh, this will be the obvious, uh, this will be the left parietal bone. You can get a typical look there. The lambdoid suture towards you. Just hold it up like this. This will be the right pelvis. 
okay no confusions right pelvis oh my god suddenly we got a new bone here this will be the palatine bone you can observe with the teeth present there okay the palatine bone this will be the palatine bone right relevant points about the greater palatine and lesser palatine foramen incisive foramen what is this this is going to be a sternum you can see the sternum obviously it's broken here you can see the articulation surfaces for the ribs there and it's a uh, sternum one more ulna to confuse you yes this also is a what do you call it right ulna and uh, purposefully they'll keep it back to back same thing so that you will write left ulna if uh, students who will think that already i got right ulna so this will be left ulna don't do that blunder Yes, we have a next spotter, the radius smooth surface, sharp, right? This will be keep yours, your thumb, this one, thumb the downwards, this side, something like this. Oops, I can't touch. Okay, this will be the right radius, okay, right radius. Yeah, which bone is this? Oops. Yeah, this is in cut section of a sagittal section. As you can see, we have, it's a combination. The question is going to come, name the bones. For this, identify the bone and its side. For this, we are getting named the bones. We have occipital bone, we have temporal bone, we have the zygomatic bone and the maxilla. Remember, it's a four bone, so two marks, half, 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 correct? You're gonna get four marks, two marks for this. And occipital bone, temporal bone, you got a zygomatic bone and maxilla. And this maxilla is edentulous. Please observe for this. It's a edentulous maxilla. Yeah, just because we got a sternum there, very, this also is sternum, okay? This also is sternum. This is compared to a much better sternum here. How many pelvises we do have here, okay? Yeah, this will be the left pelvis, please observe. Just immediately you can make it out, this is going to be a left pelvis. Yeah, just lift it off. Yeah, left femur, you can see the condyles towards you, the head pointing towards the medial aspect. Which spotter is this one? This is going to be difficult because you can see the medial malleus is missing here. It's broken. So just keep it the stripe anterior border, but still you can get the hint that this is going to be a left tibia because of that slight tip, tip we have got there. Fibula, at the end when the bell is almost ringing, you have less amount of time. This is left fibula. Easy, you can just feel it, okay? It's the left fibula. Sternum with the first strip articulating there. Sternum, you can see the manubrium, the angle of Louis here. What is this? This is not patella, please. Please be careful. This is one of the bloopers what we get. This is not the patella. This is the head of the humerus. And the question what I have asked for five marks generally in my questions, head of the humerus or upper end of humerus. I hope this was easy for you, the spotters. We have arranged everything just so that it can going to help you people. More, more and more I'm going to teach you more and more. I'm going to explain you everything there, okay? And uh, go for uh, making you understand all the bones. I have not left any bones. I don't think so, I have left any bones here. Next video, more bones which are left here, clavicle, as well as the hmm, axis, at last they are going to come. Thank you. I hope you have enjoyed my video. Please take care. Bye-bye.